Hey, Dolphins fans, we are back live watching the draft here. Uh, picks 153 and 154 about to happen. The Panthers just made their pick, and <clears throat> we're getting ready for Miami to ba make back-to-back -back pick picks here in round five. And there's a lot of really good players still available, guys like Bradley and I, uh, a handful of a very small handful of running backs at this point, um, you name it. But it's going to be very interesting. There's a lot of linemen left, but... Miami's gotten really heavy on these meat monsters thus far. Uh, cornerback Bryce Hall, uh, he's still out there. be very interesting to see what Miami does here. Um, yeah, Curtis Weaver's another one. Uh, Bradley Anai, I believe, is still available. Uh, safety Kenny Robinson just came off the board of the Panthers. Wasn't really on my radar here. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Who do you guys think the back-to-back -back picks are going to be here? Because we got two in a row coming up. Um and this is after Miami took two early, Austin Jackson. Uh, God, they've made a lot of picks so far, and they still got plenty to go. What are you guys thinking? How are you guys feeling right now going into this? Uh, there could be a wide receiver. K.J. Hill is still on the board, and he's a guy that I really, really liked. Um, and again, I mean, it's we got back-to-back -back picks. Solomon Kinley was a very exciting pick, in my opinion. Miami's done a great job, at, as, as I've been calling it out on Twitter, grabbing the meat monsters. And by the way, if you get a chance, follow us out. Oh, thanks, Shake Money. I, I, you know, like I said, we're completely honest here. They really are, Eric. Um, they are building a monster for the long term here. That's the biggest thing is the long term is the huge theme as we speak right now. I don't think they're going to make the trade for Fournette, guys. I, I totally get the way of thinking here, but I just don't think – Fournette's not a long-term answer at running back. Uh, I, I do like it. Yeah, more fat guys. Trust me. As somebody that used to be a 300-pounder, I love when I see 300-pounders out there. I'm nowhere near there now. But um, make sure you follow us, by the way, out on Twitter, at on the fin side, at, at NFL. We're going to be doing a bunch of analysis tomorrow of each individual pick as well as the draft but as a whole. Um, we're really having fun with this live hangout thing we've been doing. I uh, was glad to have Kat on with me last night. Another guy that's out there that, that might be a possibility here is Natane Moody. Uh, but again, it's picks are coming hot and heavy. Um, and there, there's a few teams that are killing it. I hate to say this. The Jets are, are really killing it in this draft. Luckily, Adam Gase, we all know, will not use those players effectively. I get that, Eric. I, I get that. I really do. Um, so, all right, let's see. who. What do you guys – come on. Fill me in on what you guys are thinking so far. And also, would love to hear back from all of you on what you think of the way we're doing this right now. I would love Bradley and I. I think Brian Flores would do a fantastic job playing with him there. Uh, given the amount of time Miami's taking here on the clock, I almost think that they're trying to trade back a little bit, maybe trade into next year, try to acquire a fourth round pick. Bryce Hall would be a very good pick here. Uh, Miami can't have enough good corners, <clears throat> can't have a good enough good pass rushers. Um, so this, this could be very interesting. It's like I said, the amount of time Miami's taking on the clock leads me to believe that they're either making or fielding some calls to possibly make a trade here. <clears throat> which tight end are you talking about alexander unfortunately the one that i really wanted in this draft came off the off the board Proche would be a good pick or proche um but yeah no there, there's a few tight ends left but oh not the ones that i was hoping for in this draft uh we saw albert o come off early we saw dalton Keene go to the pass asi asi as well um, Colby Parkinson went to the Seahawks a few picks ago. So, oh, Dolphins traded the pick, like I was thinking. 49ers just traded in. Um, don't know what Miami got in return as of yet, but <clears throat> we will hopefully have that for you shortly. Yep, we traded, but we're going to be back on the clock at pick 154 as it stands right now. So, I'm going to stay here with you guys, hang out a little bit, and see what we end up doing here because there's still a lot of players that they could take at 154. Um, there were a lot of players I would have been good with Miami going back and forth. Exactly, Damian, exactly. So now that Miami only has the one pick right here, what do you want to 
see them do. Um, God, I need to look at the running back room again. I, I, I tweeted out a bunch of, of running backs that, that I like. I think, I think, you know, Benjamin's still out there um, as well as JJ Taylor. Um, again, it, it's running back by committee guys at this point, but, What position I like is what you want. Um, I mean, we definitely still need to get a tight end here either. Oh, Colton McKivitz came off the board. He was a guy I really liked, but we, we've gotten a lot of meat monsters at this point. So the 49ers just traded in to take Colton McKivitz. No word yet on the compensation. If anybody sees the compensation out there, uh, um, let me know in the chat. Uh, I don't want to pop off of here to go on Twitter. I'm kind of bouncing around the house while I'm watching today. I got it up on three TVs around the house. Um, Matt Breda. Hmm. Um, so Miami is back on the clock again here. Um, pick 154 in the fifth round. We will see. Did, has anybody gotten that compensation at the moment? Just curiosity. By the way, you can also check out. Oh. Did we, no, we didn't make the pick yet, <clears throat> but yeah, there are numerous, numerous guys that I like here. We got Matt Breda. Okay. Okay. I'm all right with that pick, pick up. <clears throat> I agree. I, I was more pissed about Amik Robertson going to the Raiders. Um, I was pissed about some of the running backs um, and um, was really bummed to see Colby Parkinson. All right. We'll, we'll talk about Breda a little bit later on. Um, but yeah. So anyway, make sure, like I said before, Follow us out on Twitter at on the pin side at Brian Cat NFL at fanatic underscore pick with a pH. Um, I would be completely down for Weaver. Yeah, Prince Tego Winogo is still out there. Um, he would be an absolute great pick here. Um, I also was a little bummed out that Jack Driscoll was gone. Jack was kind of one of those jack of all trades uh, that could have been a starter on day one potentially and, and would have competed for that. Hey, thank you, Alexander. We we've really enjoyed this a lot more than we thought. We we hadn't really thought about doing the video, and then um, I actually did a guest spot on um, another podcast last week, and we we did the interview over Zoom, and really enjoyed it. Was comfortable with it. So Kat and I sat down and we talked, and we decided, yeah, what the hell? We'll try it for our mock draft. See what happens, and we enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, so we decided. I told him, I said, you know what? I said, you've already got plans for the round one of the draft. I'll go ahead and, and, and do some live streams during the draft, especially with the social quarantine. Uh, my parents are not the youngest of people. And I didn't want to watch it with my dad like I normally would. Um, and uh, so I decided I'd hang out with you guys. Really enjoying that, by the way. Miami's pick is in. Ooh, I like this one. Jason Strobridge out of North Carolina. He's going to come in and fight for a role uh, at DE immediately i think this is going to probably push charles harris out the door um i just I, I don't see a role for charles harris and i'm not a huge fan of of, of taco charlton either it's they're they're two feast or famine and strobridge is a very solid guy um another player i like here too coming up um after this pick there's uh justin sternad there's a handful of linebackers out there that i really like um and, and I do think Miami needs to grab a linebacker before the end of this draft. Uh, maybe they'll go the undrafted route, similar to what they did a few years back when they grabbed four of the guys, including Neville Hewitt, um, as undrafted players. I agree. Harris and Taco are just, you know, such a famine 99% uh, of the time. Uh, I am uh, 153. We traded out of the pick, Brandon. Uh, have not seen a I think we got Matt Breda uh, from the 49ers, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't know if there was any other compensation. We'll, we'll, we'll put that out on Twitter as soon as we see it. Cause uh, I'm, I'm going to hang out for a few more minutes here. 
just see what my what happens over the next couple of picks and then i'll be back for miami's next pick when they're when they're back on the clock uh, i'm gonna go hop on the media call here shortly was it just for matt brader or was there other compensation andre i know you guys have been looking at it i like it too manny uh, i really do uh, we are back up at 173 and i will be back on here uh even if the conference calls going with the Dolphins, I'm going to hop back off and hop on because I'm really enjoying hanging out with you guys. Dude, look at what we did with the undrafted last year, getting guys like Nick Needham, Preston Williams. It's This staff has done their homework. And, and I can tell you from the day one conference call with Flores and Greer, um, the way that these guys are on the same page is astounding and a breath of fresh air for for and really should be for Dolphins fans because we've had too much contest in the front office in the past. Yep, we certainly did, sir. All right, guys, hang in there. I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, if there's anything you guys want to see or hear, uh, whatever, just go ahead and hit me up on Twitter at fanatic underscore pick, and hopefully I'll be talking to you guys shortly, all right? Love you all, and thank you, thank you very, very much. I agree, Damien. It's been since the Shula years that I've trusted the front office. Uh, and the front office has done a lot for us here. And it's a nice thing to see. Damien, I, nah, you're good. You're good. You don't have to retract it. Uh, I'll hang out and see what you got to say here, Damien. Oh, dude, we're 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 gonna have recaps up before Monday. Um, we'll probably have it up tomorrow and then um you know, we'll probably talk a little bit throughout the week, too, about some of the stuff. Um, talk, we'll probably recap the free agents separately, uh, the undrafted ones. And, uh, yeah, I'm with you, man. I'm with you guys. No worries. All right. Hang in there. We'll talk soon. All right. Take care.